leave a really quick tip for you guys today on how you get your brain and your gut communicating better with each other. So if you've been following the brain reset tips I've been doing this week, we talked a lot about the toxins that are affecting the brain. I talked about the power of the gut in, in building the right neurotransmitters for your brain. Uh, I talked about the barriers for both of these. So today I wanna to talk about something called the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is the longest nerve in the human body and it connects the brain with your gut and it allows along this vagus nerve is how neurotransmitters that your your gut makes like serotonin and dopamine is and uh, b vitamins uh, that nourish your brain all of this really wonderful uh, uh, chemical system that your gut is making the way that it gets to your brain is through the vagus nerve so it travels up the vagus nerve, goes up into the brain and starts to supply the brain. So what we see a lot in our clinic is where people get really focused on brain health. They wanna detox their brain. They wanna get the right minerals for their brain, which is awesome. But then we also see where people go to the gut to try to fix the gut, to, to help the brain. Also very awesome, but they forget about this darn vagus nerve. So how does the vagus nerve get destroyed and how do you get it to work better? The first thing to know is that the vagus nerve gets really impacted by your stress levels. So the more your stress goes up, the more your vagus nerve starts to shut down. It's called having low vagal tone. So most people that I see in my clinic, and I'm sure you're the same way, have stress. We do not live in a stress-free environment. So your vagal tone is probably on the, on the lower side. So what we want to do is implement some really simple techniques you can use to increase your vagal tone. So I'm going to give you a couple of them. Very simple. They don't cost a thing. Okay. First thing, when you go to brush your teeth at night, take some water and gargle. So the glossal pharyngeal nerve, when you stimulate that nerve, it starts to increase the vagal tone. It increases the power of the vagus nerve. So just brush your teeth, gargle for a few seconds, it'll start to stimulate vagal tone. Second thing, the facial nerve of your face. Taking some cold water, it works primarily with cold water, and splashing it on your face at night will also stimulate your uh, facial nerve, which will increase vagal tone. And then the, my last favorite that I've been telling my patients to do is a really simple exercise where you wanna work your ocular motor nerve, where you put your hands behind your back and behind your neck and you, tr and you just with your nose faced up, arms behind your, your hands behind your head, you're just turning your eyes and locking it in a position for one minute. You're not turning your head, you're looking, your nose should be straight up, you're just turning your eyes for one minute and then when one minute's up, you go to the other side. Those three things will increase vagal tone. You'll find you'll be more relaxed. I recommend to my patients, they do it before they go to bed at night um, because then it calms that nervous system down and you'll get a better night's sleep. So pretty cool, right? Does it cost any money? You can really work on that vagus nerve. These are the kind of suggestions and recommendations and toolbox I'm gonna to be giving you at my brain event next, uh, the, on October 27th, next Saturday. So if you want a toolbox on how to get this to work better, please join me at that event. We will be live streaming. Um, if you live local, always better to come in person. I've got a ton of demos that I'm gonna show you. Uh, we're gonna come up with, have, I'm gonna have everybody come up with a plan right then and there so that they leave and they can put it into action. So if you want more information on the Brain Event, just put Brain Event and I'll make sure that you get it. As always, I hope that helps.